This is tutorial 5-7 on page 193 in the GIS-1 tutorial workbook. Downloading and processing census SF-1 data tables. And uh, the first part is called Get Started on Downloading 2010 SF-1 Data. And uh, number one says in your web browser, go to www.factfinder.census.gov. And uh, this is where we end up, which is not look quite like what we see in the textbook. Um, it says click the advanced search tab, but that is still here. And uh, click on geographies. And on the name tab, uh, we want to type in um, Cook County and we want Cook County, Illinois, and then we click on go. And now we're on page 194, number four at the top of the page. In the Select Geographies panel, click Census Tract from the Geography Filter Options. So, um, here's the Geography Filter Options, and uh, we want Census Tract. And in the Geography Results panel, which is right here, Select the checkbox for all census tracts within Cook County, Illinois. So right there. And click on Add. And close the Select Geographies window. Uh, so here's the label for the window, and here's the close button up here. And uh, now we're on uh, the bottom of page 194. In the search results window, navigate to and select the checkbox beside QT-P1. So here's our search results. And um, we are looking for... Let's see... age groups and sex um, okay it looks like they want uh, 2010 so let's go here and uh, select 2010 and then up here um, it uh, doesn't say this, but it's in the picture. We want to type in QT here. And then we want to click on, um, click on View. And uh, let's click on Go first. And so we are looking for QT-P1, age, age, groups, and sex. So let's click the checkbox for that. Okay, so QTP1 and on the right side, 2010 SF100%, SF one one hundred percent so that is this one right here and um, click on the view button so okay and now we're on the top of page 195 and so this should look similar to that um, it says the resulting table shows the data included in this table that will be downloaded to a spreadsheet. So um, this should look uh, 
should look exactly since we're on the same year um, and it's census tract 101 Cook County um, this first row here should be 4854 2326 25 28 and um, so it looks like we're good here and now we want to click on the download button and um, I want to Let me see, use the data, and um, data and annotation in separate files, um, so no, and um, he does not have uh, this checked on either, so let's go ahead now and click on OK. And then we'll click on Download. And there is our file, and we will open this, and we will extract all of those files. And again, this will go in Chapter 5 along with the other ones, and select File, and Extract. And you can do the your turn part on your own. And now let's go to page 196. And let's we can close this. And it says open Microsoft Excel on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up Excel. And let's do uh, open. And we want to go to our chapter 5 folder. So let's go to our C drive and go to S Repress, My Exercises, Chapter 5, and we are looking for all files. So let's go down here and uh, do all files. And uh, now we are looking for DEC 10 SF1. And let's, the rest of it is QTP1. Um, and, okay, we're going to do the CSV file here. So let's open that. It's not an Excel file. It says delete column C. Okay, let's go here and let's uh, turn on wrap text. And uh, that didn't really help very much. Um, so we'll delete column C here. I'm going to make this a little wider so these are not scientific notation anymore. And then columns F all the way to KC. So F all the way. Oh, gee, that's going to be. A lot of columns. Eight. Okay. So this is what we're left with. And uh, rename the columns ID, ID2, and um, both sexes, male, female and enter and now it says click the B column indicator to select that column and on the home ribbon in Excel click the find and select button and click replace so that is right here and we want to do replace and um, We want to find uh, 17031. And we want to replace it with apostrophe 17031. 
and uh, the only reason they're doing that is to make this into a text column uh, instead of a numeric column. You see it's right aligned here so it's a number column and putting an apostrophe in front of a number will cause it to be stored as text in Excel and let's do uh, replace all and click on OK and click on close the window and at the bottom of the spreadsheet double click the lower left tab that has the text uh, okay so we're going to rename this and we're going to call it tracks pop 2010 and hit enter when you're done and now let's go and um, we're going to save it as an excel workbook so file actually we're not going to save it as an excel workbook because i have problems um, reading those files and so we're just going to save it right here as a comma delimited file and but we are going to change the name we're going to call it cook county tracked pop 2010 but ours is going to have a csv file extension and then we can close excel and um, now we want to launch arcmap with a new empty map document Okay, so we will just um, let's go to blank map here and um, we'll click on OK. And um, that's a good place to stop this video and we'll finish the tutorial on uh, the next video.